I'm not sure why DJI even has this in the camera. Honestly, I think you should not make a choice between these two cameras until you see the ending of this video. For me, it was a deal breaker. I need everyone to remain calm. This episode is gonna be huge. Get this sign down now. Today is an amazing day. Today we are putting head to head two of the main contender in your shopping list. I mean, come on, let's be serious. If you want to buy an action camera, you're probably gonna go for DJI Action 2 or the GoPro. I have to choose between these two form factors. Which one works for you? I've been waiting for this episode for so much time. We will be testing a few things today. One, stabilization test. The big one, hyper smooth versus rock steady. Let's see which one is better. Tell the difference, right? Boom. Making this little setup with my back here, near this, yeah. I just have this feeling things can fall. Walking. Which one does a better job at stabilizing? I'm gonna be ninja walking. And soon, I'm gonna be running. Which one does the best job? I'm curious. I mean, I'm going fast on the stairs. This is, this is my favorite spot to shoot and just record stuff and now, all of a sudden it's full of people. A dynamic range test, what it does, it exposes the camera to different lighting conditions. Basically it has light and shadows in the frame. And then it chooses, do I make the light brighter or do I make the shadows darker? Basically if it's really white, you're not able to recover that. If it's really, really dark, you're not able to recover that also. Let's see what happens with, uh, with the small action cameras. You can see this place in, uh, in the dynamic range test. It's filled with spiders. Filled with spiders. I'm probably gonna be Spider-Man after this. Guys. Guys. K120. I can't believe I'm seeing this on, on an action camera, but it's absolutely exciting. Both cameras shoot the same thing. 4K120. We're gonna put them head to head, see which one looks better. And please appreciate the effort of this test. I never run except on camera. <laughs> no way around the fact that this is way smaller than the GoPro. Much more convenient. 4K 120 and silly small. Each one of us has a different shooting style. I'm not a fan of the super wide. It takes me too far away from the subject at hand. But I generally like to be able to choose between the lenses. This is why I was so surprised when the DJI Action 2 offered only three choices. One, super view, two, wide, and then standard, which was the warp. But then it also offered a zoom functionality, which I found out about later. We're testing this today, but spoiler alert, it's not what it should be. As always, we've put a set of clips one after another, so it helps you choose because you're gonna see them side by side. But as always, feel free to scroll through them until you get to the secret at the end.
I'm not sure why DJI chose this path. I will never accept that quality coming out of an action camera. The GoPro has a 5K camera and I think that helps you out a lot because you can reframe afterwards. Hence, having this camera with that weird zoom, I will not recommend the zoom to anyone. It just doesn't work, it produces crap footage. I think they just put a digital zoom. You can do that in post-production in whatever software you're using. For me, that's a deal breaker. Two times zoom on the, we're gonna do this while filming. Sliding up and moving to three. Microphone test, one, two, three. Microphone test, one, two, three. Facing me. Microphone test, one, two, three. 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 Facing me. Microphone test, one, two, three. Microphone test, one, two, three. If I had to choose a winner, I would go for the GoPro. Do you think otherwise? Hit me in the comments.